But right now I'm recording and I'm recording to show you how to take any Google file and make it force copy. Okay. So right up here in the top, uh, in my Omnibox, like I said yesterday, every file is basically a web page so that every file has a web address, right? And so this web address is very long and with a lot of gobbledygook in it, but every single document has at the very end of its, of its web address, it has a forward slash, and then after that forward slash is the word edit. And that word edit might be followed with some other stuff, but I'm gonna take the word edit and everything to the right of the word edit, and I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to delete it. And I'm gonna replace what was there, we'll edit, and then whatever might have been behind it, with the word copy. And then I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it wherever I want someone to click to get a force copied link. Okay, so I watch what, I'm gonna open up a new tab, and I'm going to paste in that ad, that address, and you can see right here that it is, the, the, the suffix after the last slash is copy, and when I enter that, it's going to ask for that as copy. So what I did for you, for you all yesterday on the website was I had that link where it said, you know, take a copy. I just made that a hyperlink with that address on it. Okay. So in that case, I would have said something like, uh, let me add some text here. I would have said, take a copy, highlight it, and then using my link tool here, insert link, I would just paste in that address, and you can see it ends with copy, and apply. And so now, anyone who's, who's you know, whether you're in a Google site, which I had you click from, or in a Google Doc, or in a, you know, in a Google slide deck, whatever, wherever you have that link, right, someone clicks on that, and they are asked if they would like a copy of whatever that thing is. And that's all through Loom?